Insights with Terry Coots, a weekly look through the eyes of predictive astrologer Terry Coots. Here's Terry. Hello, everyone. This is Terry, and you're listening to Insights with Terry Coots. We will be talking about March the 12th through the 19th, 2023. Now, before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to apologize ahead of time in case something happens. It's quite snowy out there as I'm recording this. And I think I've mentioned to you, uh, some of my listeners, on many occasions, I have a multitude of dogs. And they're all helping me record this session right now because they don't want to be outside. It's a little chilly. They've had enough. So I took matters into my own paws, exercised the beans out of these kids. At this point, they're all laying down sleeping all around me. So let's hope it stays that way. And there's not a lot I can do about my Luna Tuna bird in the other room with her springtime serenade. I can't stop her. So we'll have to put up with the background cockatiel serenade. And let's hope that the dogs give me the gift of sleeping through this podcast. <laughs> a tired dog is a good dog. So what are we going to talk about this week of March the 12th through the 19th? We're still in Pisces in the sun sign. And we have Pisces in Mercury, how we think, how we communicate. That is that amazing energy field that's allowing us to be creative with our mind. Maybe take a moment and sit down in that really comfortable chair without the TV and dream. Have your day dreams. What would you like to do? What do you see on the other side of your life? How do you want to get there? What would be a dream of yours to accomplish, to be, to experience. And with that Pisces dreaming energy, the creativity is also combined where the planets are this week. So it's a really great opportunity to look at that and try to get some coalescence to the dreaming. Make it a real thing. Turn it into a goal. Turn it into something that you're working towards achieving. It's really possible. Now we've only got a short period of time with this Pisces because on the 21st, which is the equinox, that will change to Aries, the sun sign, and Mercury, the planet of mind and how we think and how we process things on the 29th will turn to Aries. So that's impulsive, fiery, get it done. Let's not think about it too much energy. So if you've got it all kind of lined up and you sort of know where you want to go, this is the perfect time to take that map and get it created so that Aries can push you forward to taking that new step and getting these things done. Venus, the planet of love, beauty, attraction, always scares me (laughs) because you get attracted to everything and we can overspend. That is in Aries right now as well, which is impulsive. And that's the scary part for me. That was impulsive buys, the impulsive ways of spending uh, money that maybe we hadn't considered a a minute ago. And there we go, dumping 2,000, 3,000, 25, buying that extra bottle of whatever. So watch the impulsiveness doesn't create problems down the road. On the 17th of this month, Venus moves into Taurus, and Taurus is the bull. It's that solid energy. It likes a little bit more security. So there won't be the impulsiveness. There will be the ability to move forward for sure if you've ever watched a bull, um, and the determination to get it done. So when you combine all of this, it's just a great energy to try to get that plan going for where you want to be and how you want to get there. Mars, the planet of our drive, Our passion, that red fiery planet, is still in Gemini and has been forever, (laughs) which is thinking and, and wanting to expand our minds and trying to be interested and do interesting things, new things, a very highly creative energy as far as the mind goes. That will be moving into Cancer on the 26th. So that will be, that's a little bit of a catch 22 cancer being that compassion wonderful energy that is good for everybody we're always doing nice things for everybody but it's a water sign and mars is a fire sign so we can burn off some of that 
you know you take water and fire you can have evaporation you can burn the pot dry or water can put out the fire so it's a matter of trying to really balance things trying to look at how much fire we're putting into our life passion and how much water we're putting in flexibility kindness and then balancing it so it's a nice combination that's something that we're supposed to be leaning towards now as I said we're going to have the equinox uh, depending on your zone in latitude and longitude on the 20th to the 21st that's the spring equinox and this is March of course that is an opening portal so some people use it to uh, move forward in, as far as rituals go I tend to want to go out in the bush during this time and celebrate nature be a little bit quiet uh, if you can with the dogs running around the bush jumping in the pool but it is a nice energy to connect with nature to connect with your grounded self to look at the season change how the how the animals handle it red ring blackbirds are coming back I've had a ton of people showing me their pictures of their cardinals uh, just beautiful beautiful energy and the song of that red wing blackbird our ducks are laying eggs like crazy uh, trying to find nests so there's a fervor to move forward into the future both in nature and in our psychic selves that intuitive self so that push to move forward don't go against it swim with the current now there's a little bit of a challenge when Pisces moves into Aries on the 21st so about the week before which is now uh, and about a week after you might find feeling a little foggier than normal unclear that Pisces when it ends uh, can any any time there's a major I would say astrological change we can feel it even the pigeons fly with a magnetic field if I asked a pigeon do you feel that field I would say that they would probably say no it's something genetic something instinctual so we may feel on the back burner a little foggy a little unclear when you know that what would you do to prevent a mistake being made maybe sending out misinformation like for myself I almost wrote down some misinformation looking at the wrong page and because I know of the fogginess and I'm aware I've been second guessing myself and going over things twice caught it <laughs> luckily caught it so just don't completely trust your calculations and your thinking be very careful if you're working with heavy equipment or dangerous equipment think twice and our balance can be a little off uh, sometimes we're a little laggy or a little ahead so this is where we fall down the stairs this is where we drop the chainsaw just really be careful uh, just know that you're not up to snuff so we will feel a need for closure during this week because it's the last week of winter moving into spring the 21st so all this closure comes all around us wanting to have our plans in place so all of it is awesome if we want to put it in place great great opportunities I'm so excited about this week that's coming now towards Monday of this week the moon being in Sagittarius our vulnerable place will be the liver the hips the thighs um, the sacrum and that energy field if you're vulnerable you might find a little bit more pain in that area maybe a little bit weaker as I said be very careful of falls um, during this time it's a vulnerable area but Sagittarius is so optimistic and so psychological and the philosophy the need to to think and understand why something's happening what made this person do it let me come to understand this I love that energy because I love to understand closure for me only comes when I understand what happened why it happened how it happened and then it feels safer to move forward if we can get to an understanding and a closure that's what this energy offers with that optimistic energy of Sagittarius then towards the end of the week the vulnerable parts will be our joints our backbone the knees your ligament your patella 
uh, all of those really important body parts. So if you do have bad knees or your joints are a little sore, I'm already feeling it, you know, in the little arthritic places. Uh, heat is really good for arthritis. Just be proactive. Maybe look at the turmeric a little differently. Use some of your essential oils that are anti-inflammatory. It doesn't hurt to get ahead of this so that you're not caught behind it. The positive energy of Sagittarius moving into this energy field will allow us to take those dreams on a positive note instead of looking negatively at it. Take those dreams on a positive note and be able to project a little bit forward and say, what does that look like? How, how is that looking to me? What does my future look like? And then we're going to have a new moon in Pisces on Tuesday the 21st. So that's a door. That's a door that can be opening for many of us. Many opportunities could be there if we're looking for them. So this is a great uh, opportunity if you're looking to, to move forward and looking for that door to open. It's scary. have to say that. It's scary. Anytime we make a change or think about a change or look at possibly making changes, it's scary. It reminds me of a saying that I usually drag with me. Um, Roosevelt said, a ship in the harbor is safe, but that's not what ships are built for. So every time I get scared or nervous or uncertain as to, do I want to try this? Do I really want to go there alone? Um, is it safe? I think of that quote and I think, you know, only with leaving the safety of that harbor, will you be what you were bred to be, be what you were built to be, find who you are, what you are. If we push ourselves a little bit, we'll learn more about ourselves as a human. We do need the tribe. And I think maybe some of the people that have been acting up and acting out may be that they don't have a tribe or they've picked the wrong tribe and supported in really crazy thinking. So look around you as to who is your tribe. What do you want in your tribe? I personally have some really close friends that make me laugh. We laugh like crazy when we're together. We talk about serious things. We talk about funny things. That tribe is so accepting and so non-critical. It's so safe to be with them. What does your tribe look like? So you have to look at who do I hang around with because those, that's what I'm going to be. And what choices do we have? We don't always have a choice as to what happens to us. But I have learned as an as a, as a elder I do have a choice in how I react to it. And the only way to find meaning and purpose in our existence, fundamental to being a human being, is to take care of others, to look at helping others. That fulfills us. It really does. And that crushes loneliness. And there's a lot of loneliness out there that people do not even recognize. So look at your tribe. What kind of tribe am I in? What people do I hang around with? Because you will mirror that. They'll add to you or they'll take away. So just keep an eye on that. That's what we're supposed to be doing this week, kids. On that note, I'm going to let you go. I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you taking the time, stopping in, listening. That's your most valuable possession that we have. And I'm always very, very, very grateful when people take that time to listen or tell me that they did it kind of um, makes me giggle, makes me makes me valued by my tribe. Thanks to Charlie O'Brien. He has put us on Spotify podcast. You can find us on Apple iTunes. You can find us on Amazon Music, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. When I send this to him and he's able to get it up, he will give me the link and I will pass that on to you for the YouTube link for this week. And Charlie is trying to, uh, needing help uh, to go from that GoFundMe page. I will put that link up again as well. He has the super AM800 um, channel. So just Google Charlie O'Brien and look at what he does and all that he does. It's amazing. But he's doing really well with the GoFundMe page. So if you, if you, can, if you can find it in your heart to help him, 
all of us would appreciate that. And if you have any digital needs, photography, um, your web design, anything of that nature, he's so good to work with. If you're looking for archived podcasts, uh, he has got us on Terry World. That's www.terryworld.com. That's T E R R I W O R L D.com. You can find the last four or five that he's archived. Thanks again, everybody. Take care. Hold on to the railings. <laughs> Have a great week. Bye for now. Thanks for listening to Insights with Terry Coots. Visit Terry's website at terryworld.com. T E R R I world.com.